everyone and welcome to the GearCraft Weekly Show. Uh, I'm Taylor and this week we've got a special guest uh, who's joining us, Samosaurus 6, known for his command block creations, his map making and his redstone. Hello. <laughs> uh, we've got quite a busy show this week, but I'm going to start it with a short interview of Samosaurus, um, some questions that you guys asked and some that I've come up with myself. So, firstly, Samosaurus, how yep. did you get into Minecraft? Um, so, it was probably around five years ago now, so a long time ago. Um, my friend actually showed me Minecraft, so way back in Alpha. And at first, I thought it was pretty stupid. Um, <laughs> but, then, but then I actually got to play it myself, and I've kind of just been playing it ever since. I haven't really played many other games as much as I've played Minecraft, so... Right, you've been playing a lot longer than me then, because I only started in late beta. Um, yeah, I've... I've played a long time. <laughs> so, how and when did you start making videos? Like, of Minecraft? Um, so, actually, fairly recently. Um, like, I've only sort of gotten into Redstone and Command Blocks ever since the 1.8 update um because i added a load of new commands and stuff um and i just started playing around with commands and learning about command blocks and everything and i posted some things to the minecraft subreddit and i got sort of popular there so yeah, i remember that that was pretty yeah cool. so I, I sort of decided to make sort of a channel and try and explain more in detail how things worked no, and I it kind of just cool. evolved from there. So Sorry. go on. Um, I've got a question that I didn't actually write down earlier. Does your girlfriend still appear in all your videos? Because I haven't watched all of your recent ones, but like, does she? Not in not in all of them. Um, sometimes she 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 did appear in the recent one, um, the emotional zombies one that I posted a few weeks ago. Right. Um. Okay. So next question. So what's We Are The Rangers? I've watched some of your videos on it, and it looks quite interesting. So can you tell us a bit more about it? Yeah, so um, We Are The Rangers is a project by United for Wildlife, and it sort of aims to use Minecraft as a way of, I guess, educating kids about endangered wildlife and um, sort of protecting them from poachers and illegal trade. Um but there's a sort of single player and multiplayer map um, that's being worked on by a load of sort of talented people like Dragnoz, Blockworks, and I believe Wizard Keen from WonderQuest is also involved. But basically what myself and my girlfriend Bucky have been doing is making all the animal block models for the project. Cool. Okay, so the other project that I seem to remember you've been working on is the Lost Among the Dead mod pack. Uh, can you tell us anything <clears> about that? Because it kind of looks like you've gone silent on it. Like, I looked at your channel, and the last video was in July, and it's mid-September now. So what's happening? Yeah. Um, it looks cool. Well, I kind of sort of had to took a, take a break from it because I got sort of commissioned to do other maps like like the We Are The Rangers project and um, the heist map as well. Um, but I've sort of finished those now. So for the last sort of few weeks, we've actually been working like a lot on it. And I don't want to say sort of say a release date, but we're kind of hoping to get a sort of public version out before the end of the month. Cool. That I, I actually am really interested. I, I want to play it when it comes out. So yeah, I'm I'm actually sort of organizing, um, trying to organize a trailer with voice acting, um, by a few people as well. So it should be pretty pretty good. Cool. So, what do you do when you're not making like command block creations and videos and things like that? I guess sort of just play other games like Legend of Zelda or Starbound. Recently I bought Mad Max, which is a pretty good game. Or I just work on other projects in Minecraft, browser edit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess occasionally I do sort of game development in a program called Unity. 
I posted a game that some friends and I made in three days a while back on my channel. Um, so that was kind of fun. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm going to ask one last question. So you can add one thing to Minecraft 1.9 before it comes out. What would that one thing be and why? There's quite a few things I would like, like um, entity animation for resource packs or dummy blocks and items for map makers. But I think what I'd really like is a sort of new mob, which is sort of similar to the Deku Bambas that I made a few weeks back. I don't know if you saw that, but like some sort of Venus flytrap. Oh, okay. um, that sounds interesting. Mob, yeah, which it would, for example, spawn in jungles and I don't know, maybe drop some sort of thorn trap block or something. I don't know. But I've seen it suggested before and I thought it was a really, really cool idea. Yeah, that, that does sound cool. All right. Shall we move on to the first bit of news for this week, which yep. is the new snapshot released by Mojang 15W38A? Now, this snapshot looks pretty cool. What do you think about it? The horses, zombie horses, and skeleton horses, and skeleton Yeah, there's, there's the new skeleton horses which spawn uh, during thunderstorms, which I think is really cool. And they're actually like skeleton traps. They're called skeleton traps. And if you actually get within 10 blocks of them, then some lightning will strike it and the trap will activate and like four or three um, sort of horsemen will spawn. Skeletons riding skeleton horses. I think if you actually kill the skeletons on top of those horses, you can actually tame the horse as well. So it's pretty cool. Now, this snapshot is just reminding me why I don't want to play survival, why I prefer creating <laughs> yeah. way too many ways yeah. to die. Yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm glad that they're making the game slightly harder, though. I, yeah, I the, felt like true. a lot of people thought it was too easy before, so it was pretty cool. Also, pet deaths are announced, even if the animal isn't named. So if you have an, uh, like a cat or a wolf oh, yeah. and they die, that's now announced, which I think is kind of a good quality of life upgrade. And apparently there are some mob AI improvements. I don't know exactly what that means, but I assume maybe harder. Well, I think, first of all, mobs no longer see you through walls anymore, um, which was a sort of bug yeah, I remember um, in a previous yeah. snapshot. And also, there's some sort of interesting behavior with how mobs ride each other now. Like before, if you had a skeleton riding a skeleton horse, the sort of horse's AI would be the one that's controlled. Um, but now the the entity that's right that's on top basically controls the entity on the bottom so if you've got a skeleton on the top then it's ai controls the horse kind of thing i don't know so there's a lot that we still need to sort of discover but already people have been making really cool things with it so hopefully it'll be useful for map makers and stuff yeah that all sounds pretty cool and technical yeah so the next thing that's happening is Minecraft Story Mode has been given a release date, well, at least the first episode. Yeah. Um, and that's October the 13th, uh, and the first episode is called Order of the Stone. Um, are you looking forward to Story Mode? I'm sort of skeptical about what it's going to be like, but I'm definitely going to at least get the first episode and sort of try it out, because... The other Telltale tell, tell, the tell, tell games have been pretty good, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be will be good as well. I haven't actually played any Telltale games, but they do look quite good. Yeah. There's no word on pricing for the game, but it's expected to be similar to other Telltale games. So that's about five dollars an episode, or twenty five for the entire like season pass. Now, this next item is kind of quite interesting. On the fifteenth. It was a year since Microsoft purchased Mojang. Mm. So we're three days after a year, so I can't exactly say it's a year, but... Just over a year. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like, has anything really changed hugely? Because <coughs> I haven't noticed, like, any huge... I suppose yeah. apart from, like, HoloLens, nothing huge has happened. Yeah, I've... I... 
I was one of those people who were really sort of worried about Microsoft purchasing Mojang or Mojang. But I think they've sort of left it alone enough to make me believe that the purchase was kind of a good thing now. And I think HoloLens does look really cool, but I am also worried that it's not going to live up to the sort of hype that we were shown. Yeah, that is probably an issue. The other good thing that came out of it, especially for me, is the Windows Phone edition of uh, Minecraft Pocket Edition. Because I Mm. have a Windows Phone, and getting apps for that phone is (laughs) impossible, so having Minecraft on it is great. Yeah. It's probably... Oh, and the Windows 10 edition is also kind of cool. Though, I wonder if that would have happened with or without Microsoft. But, like, having a port that runs really well is quite nice, even if it is lacking. I think it was... I think it was influenced by Microsoft. But I have to say it is really cool how you can play with Pocket Edition players now on the Windows 10 edition. Yeah. So, if, for example, some friends come over to your house and have their phones or whatever, you can all play together on the same Wi-Fi. So that's that's pretty cool because we haven't seen sort of computer and phone compatibility before. So Now, the last thing is the second votable build competition, which looks quite interesting. Now, I think you're planning to enter this, right? Yeah, I am. At least planning to. I haven't really come up with any ideas yet, but it definitely looked interesting. So the competition is being hosted by uh, votable.com, which is a website with a quite large Minecraft community. Uh, The theme is Dimensions, which I think is a really cool theme. Mm. And I'm also entering, and I've started building my my forest in the sky. I think it's the theme I'm going with. The competition closes on the 6th of October, so there's still quite a lot of time left to build something. And I think that's really good, because the the theme is, like, requires in my mind at least something reasonably large. Mm. Like, if you're building a dimension, it needs to be a bit big. Yeah, large and thought out. Um, so there'll be a link in the description uh, or the show notes to where you can like find out more information about the competition. But it looks pretty cool, and I can't wait to see some of the entries that other people are making as well. So now we move on to some fan mail from you guys. So the first one is a message from Oaklogs98, who says... Hey, Gearcraft, how many one in the quiver maps are you going to build? Also, I really like Lava Land. Okay, so Oatlogs is talking about the one in the quiver maps on the Gearcraft server. And I've kind of been teasing a couple of extra maps on Twitter for the last... Yeah, I, so. I've seen them. So I'm probably going to build as many as I can. No, not really. <laughs> I Well, I'd like to build probably <coughs> another f- three or four. Uh, but we'll see. I've got one in the works which I've made a trailer for, and then another one that I kind of haven't started much yet, uh, but I have an idea for. So, probably after them, I'll wait a little bit and then make some more. Okay, do you want to read the next question? Uh, so, this one is from Salmon King 3258 and he says, Hey, are you going to play Minecraft Story Mode when it comes out? I, myself, am definitely going to play at least the first episode and sort of see what it's like and if it is good then i'll probably play the rest of them as well um are you gonna get it well i'm probably gonna have to write a review about it so yeah yeah (laughs) that that was the plan i'm but probably again if the first one's really bad maybe not but i actually really like the like the concept of it and the trailers look really cool so i'm really excited to play it um so definitely it comes out Mm. And finally, a message from Dennis, who says, are you ever going to stream anything other than One in the Quiver? Uh, Because I've been streaming quite a bit of that lately. Um, (laughs) And my answer to that is, well, um, maybe. I've thought about streaming building One in the Quiver maps, which isn't technically streaming One in the Quiver. But I'm not sure what else I would, like, stream yet, because the Twitch channel is supposed to be, like, the Gearcraft server twitch channel Mm. but maybe if you want to send us a message there's a link in the description and all the show notes below uh depending on whether you're watching the video or listening to the podcast so now that brings us to the end of the show thanks very much for joining us samosaurus where can people find you on the internet 
uh, youtube.com slash samosaurus 6. <laughs> Anywhere else? That's probably the best. Uh, yeah, I guess Twitter I post... Or... Yeah, I have a Twitter, oh, okay. which is just at samosaurus 6. I guess I post on Reddit as well, but... It's all just Samosaurus 6, so... <laughs> yeah, look, look for that. Look for the post by Samosaurus 6 and upload them. It's really good. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Gearcraft Taylor. And we will catch you... Well, I will catch you next week. Uh, I'm hoping that Samosaurus comes back sometime in the future. Uh, yeah, it was, but we'll it was fun. Thanks. Thanks for having me. So, catch you guys next week.